All right, TikTok. I got to bring this up because a lot of people are getting this confused and I'm seeing an awful lot of it. And in the end days, you're going to get that. Now, I ain't saying this is the end days because if you read your Bible, there's a lot of things supposed to take place, but we're still in a very bad time in the, in the world, okay? So I just go by Bible. But I'm going to tell you something right now. A lot of people are not rightly dividing the Word of God. I'm going to tell you that right now. Now, I understand short hair, long hair. I understand all these things. I, I, I read all the time. I read the Bible every day. Okay, but listen to me. I'm saying this out of love too. I'm trying to get you. I'm trying to get you to understand something. Doesn't matter what tradition you are, what color you are, what you're from, what respect. That none of that matters. Once you become a child of God, you read Bible. Bible now is your direction and your correction. So you could be uh, 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 from Thailand and you could be from Canada. The two of you come together. Your traditions are completely different, but you're not in the world no more. See, you're in the truth in the Bible. So now, what's the Bible say? It's a shame to have long hair if you're a man. If you come from a culture where, where men have long hair, you now have a new tongue and a new walk. You now go by Bible. Bible don't say do that. You might all dress like women in your culture, but the Bible says not to do that. You see, once you become a Christian, you now walk in a new tongue. You don't speak the same way you used to. You speak Bible now. You're careful on what you say. You're not vulgar. You don't say those same things you used to. You don't say, I can't do anything. You say, all things are possible in Christ. If it's his will, it'll be done. You speak with a new tongue. You don't get angry when people get mad at you. You dress different. You don't wear satanic symbols and things like that. You don't wear that stuff no more. You dress differently. You dress ordinary, normal, humble, women. You don't put broided hair and, and have all that craziness. The Bible says not to. The Bible says 1 Corinthians 11 is not a joke. It doesn't mean, well, you know, you just go by that. If that's, if that's, that's for all. I've heard people say that. People rightly divide, saying, well, Paul didn't mean, you know, what do you mean? No, you're wrong. Paul told you what God said. And he's trying to let you know that the gospel is going to go all through the world. It's going to get you. Everybody has different cultures. Some people eat pork. Some people eat beef. Some people eat grasshoppers. We've got to understand that we now bring everybody to the Bible. I'm not going to beat you up for what you are. I come from a terrible culture, but that doesn't mean that I don't follow Bible now. See, once you understand, you follow Bible. You no longer go by your worldly ways. It might be in your worldly ways to eat the dead. You don't eat the dead no more because it's not about tradition. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. And you're not gonna. I know people out there right now on TikTok and YouTube not rightly dividing the word of God and y'all never get through them. They think they're right. But you stop it. God bless.